Cal Newport, the productivity guru and author of Deep Work once said, a 40 hour time blocked work week produces the same amount of output as a 60 plus hour work week pursued without structure. Time blocking is a time management method that was used by Benjamin Franklin and Elon Musk and has allowed them to produce insane levels of productivity. And the research has verified this. It has shown that time blocking is nearly guaranteed to significantly improve your levels of productivity while also relieving stress in the process. And I personally have started using time blocking regularly to plan out my weeks and it has been incredible. And in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that I do each week to time block my schedule and take control of my time. Let's get into it. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Langwish and on this channel, I cover all things from tech to productivity to digital organization videos just like this one. So if you're interested in hearing more about these type of topics, make sure you click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest content that I'll be putting out. And the links to anything mentioned in this video as well as any other helpful resources will be down in the description below. So you'll wanna make sure you check that out. But with that being said, let's jump into how I am using both Things 3 and Apple Calendar to time block my schedule. And with time blocking, the first thing you're going to want to do is identify your priorities. So for me, this kind of works in a three step process. The first thing you want to look at are what are the things that you have to do? These are the scheduled events. These are the things that are the non-negotiables. You have to be there and do it. And this most likely is your job. You know, you don't have a choice that is on the schedule. Then the next thing you want to identify is what are your biggest wants? What are the things that resonate at your core identity of what you want to be doing? So for me, this is my YouTube channel. This is fitness, things like that. These are things that while aren't a necessity, they are things I really want to be doing. And then you're going to kind of work down from there. Then after that, what are the things that, hey, if you have extra time, you would like to be doing this. And you're going to write out and rank the different things in your life that you want to prioritize and be doing. Now, the next thing you're going to do is for each of those things that you write down is you are going to estimate the time that it's going to take to do the various tasks that you need to be doing in those things. Parkinson's law states that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. This means that it's super important that you put the reasonable amount of time you think it'll take because if you give yourself a you know half day to do a little task, you're probably going to use that whole half day to do that task. This is a common thing within human beings, and that's why time blocking is going to really help fight against this. Now, when looking at my screen here, like I mentioned, I have Apple Calendar open. And for those of you who might uh, have watched some of my previous videos, you know I've done a video covering Fantastic Cal and why I thought even the free version of it was the best calendar that you could be using. And while I still love Fantastic Cal and think it's great, for time blocking, I think Apple Calendar is actually a better option. The reason for this is an important part of time blocking is having different colors for the different uh, tasks that you're going to be doing so that your calendar is visually appealing. And that is unfortunately hidden behind the paywall in Fantastic Gal. So we're going to be using Apple Calendar for this and it integrates really well with things and just does a great job. So the first thing when you're getting started is you are going to want to set up the different calendars in Apple Calendar for the different types of things you're going to be scheduling throughout your day. So you'll see here I've got uh, different colors of events, uh, work, daily, health, YouTube, church, tasks, relationship, relaxation, rest. I ended up making a lot of different categories. You don't necessarily have to do everything. Just do whatever works for you. Um, and then try to add colors that kind of fit, you know, with the tasks. So YouTube, red, eh, that made sense. Apparently uh, green kind of felt like, you know, workout, fitness, um, stuff like that. And I think this color scheme is super important because you're gonna be able to look at your calendar and just off the colors, kind of know what your day is gonna be like and what you have to do. And so I'm gonna kind of just walk you through what I might do 
on the Sunday of a week to plan out my next week. So we have a week here and you'll see I've got some example um, jobs that I'm working, just uh, working in the summer right now uh, in between uh, schools, my school year at graduate school. So working some welcome center and some mail room and those things are scheduled. Those are non-negotiable. So I'm gonna have to block things around that. So then I've got things three open on the side here and I'm going to kind of look through my upcoming tasks and projects for the week. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to look at is those regular daily routine things and what time I'm gonna to wanna to do them at. So the first thing I'm going to think about, and you can really do this in whatever order you want, but one of the top things I said was fitness. I want to work out every day, Monday through Friday. So this would be uh, in my health category and let's say I'm gonna do that at one o'clock each day. And what's awesome is if you have the wrong time, you can just kind of drag it. It defaults to an hour, but what's awesome is you can easily in Apple Calendar change the length just like that. So I'm gonna put at one o'clock workout, boom. And then what's awesome is if you hold option, you can actually just drag copies throughout the week. So you could make it a recurring event, but there's a reason I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna make it a recurring event because if I ever have to change the time I'm working out, then I'm gonna to have to always click just for this event and not for future events. And that's an extra click I'm always gonna to have to do whenever I'm moving things around. So to save myself from that tedious extra step, I just do this and use option drag and it makes it super easy. So great, I've got working out at 1 p.m. So then the next thing I might think about is, okay, well, when am I gonna eat lunch then? You know, so that's a that's a daily thing. So we are gonna add um, right here, uh, eat lunch. And you know what? I like to have a little time to relax. So we're gonna give myself an hour for that. I uh, usually watch maybe a show, catch up on some sports. And I wanna do that and give myself some time to digest before. I go work out. So I'm gonna throw that in right here uh, an hour before working out. Um, you could add eat breakfast. Um, I don't eat breakfast typically. Um, typically just have my coffee, but that is how we have uh, for eating lunch. Then we'll continue with different. The next meal, I'm gonna say eat dinner. And again, I will put that at 6 p.m and give myself an hour. And I know actually on uh, Monday, I need to cook dinner and we're going on vacation later this week. So I'm only making one meal this week, but I'm gonna make a huge meal. So it should last for you know the rest of the week. It's a nice efficient way to do it. Make huge meals, they're awesome. Okay, so my schedule is starting to fill out a little bit more. Um, I know that I'm going to want to uh, what time do I want to get to bed? So for me, I have a rest event and I'm gonna want to get eight hours of sleep. So let's say I'm gonna try to get to bed at 11 and that's gonna go until 7 a.m. the next day. So you'll see it comes in and oh, I forgot to name it. So we'll say sleep and it comes in till the next day. And then what's awesome is again, you can just do option drag and I'm gonna just initially, I can move this around if something changes. Oops, uh, that one we're gonna undo and, uh, okay, it's being weird. There we go. So we got sleep for the week right there. Um, then I know one thing that I'm gonna be doing is right before sleep, I'm gonna add get we're gonna a 30 minute event of bedtime routine. We can drag that throughout the week. It takes me about 30 minutes to wind down. I like to give myself a little bit of time before I actually want to be asleep at 11. I also each morning have a, let's name it get ready. Takes me about 30 minutes to get ready in the morning. 
And then I also, every morning, have a morning routine where I, and I have this in things, you'll see over in things, I have this do morning routine, and I actually already did those today. Do morning devotions, process emails, process the inbox in things, that way I'm always checking my inbox. And that takes me about 30 minutes as well. And uh, the Welcome Center, it's actually a job that I can do this while I'm working at the Welcome Center, pretty nice. Um, so we will drag that there. And okay, so we've got a basic uh, kind of initial structure of kind of the daily necessities, stuff like that. So now's the really cool part where we can start looking at things and dragging them over and blocking them into our schedule. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna look at the YouTube video for this video. So this is planned out for this week and this is how I would have done it. So today is Tuesday, but yesterday I researched keywords and scripted the video. So what's awesome is things is compatible with Apple Calendar. So I can just drag research keywords over and you'll see it's automatically creating an event. And then what I'll just wanna do is change it to YouTube. And you know, let's say researching keywords probably only takes 30 minutes. And then we can script a video. It remembers that it's YouTube. And scripting a video maybe takes uh, an hour and a half. Um, and then I've got, I remember uh, I've got a relationship one. I'm going to FaceTime my mom because I love my mom. So there you go, shout out to you, mom. Um, and you know, so I've got that. And then, you know, I know today I am going to film payroll and again I just gotta it'll just remember what's the last selection you had so if you want to uh, kind of batch them together uh, film a roll we'll do that and say it takes about this long and then film b roll and we'll drag it in there and so then I know so that's today that's what I'm doing right now is uh, filming a roll filming b roll um, then I'm gonna be eating lunch and working out. Um, and then I know uh, tomorrow I want to edit video. And editing the video, probably spend a good amount of time doing that. And you can see how this works is, so I'm just gonna be going through, you know, I can go through my upcoming events and look through various, you know, ch maybe chores and I can, you know, drag wash clothes over, stuff like that. Um, yeah, it is super awesome. I love just the simplicity and you can see how, honestly, I haven't spent that much time and I've almost time blocked my entire week. And this is just super helpful if you're someone like me because rather than having to, in the moment, make choices on how you're gonna use your free time, you know, you just have this downtime and you have to figure out what the heck do I wanna do, I now have a easy schedule that is just kind of taking me through and I know that I'm getting the things done that I want to get done because I've planned it ahead of time and the schedule is basically just telling me how I am gonna go through my day. I also like in things on how if you look at upcoming, it actually integrates with your calendar so you can see it's showing the different things that uh, are on my calendar. So when I'm looking at my tasks, I literally right above it have when I'm gonna do them. So that's super cool. But yeah, I highly recommend you look into time blocking because you know it's one thing to write down the tasks you're gonna do in a task manager, and that's a good start. But I find that if you ahead of time at the beginning of the week say, when am I gonna do this task? When is this gonna get done? then all you have to do, you know, the hard work's been done. All you have to do is just follow the schedule that you've already set for yourself. And what's great is this integrates really well with the Apple Watch, uh, the Apple Calendar app. It just has a list of the various things that I'm gonna be doing. And I love the color-coded nature. It's for one, just aesthetically pleasing, but it also really helps me when I'm looking to kind of 
know what I have for the day. Now there are other app options that you can use to do something like this. And the first thing isn't even an app. You can just do this on a piece of paper. You can you know, draw your days, draw the boxes. You know, you can even color coat with a color pencil. I've seen people do that and that's a very valid option. I know some of you don't own things and it does have a bit of a high price tag and it, uh, I think it's worth it. And if you wanna check out my review of it, I've got a link to that above. But if you don't wanna do things, then a great other option is just use Apple Reminders. It's free on your iPhone and your Mac, and it integrates in the exact same way where you can drag your tasks over and make them events and it can work super well. Also, if you don't wanna use Apple Calendar, you can do a similar thing in Google Calendar. It'll let you color coat and all that and it can work well. And additionally, if you do have some extra money, you can subscribe for Fantastical Premium. I think if you have the money, that is like the best calendar out there. Um, it's a bit of a high price tag for me and for time blocking, the free version just wasn't enough. And the final app I wanna give a shout out to is Sorted 3. And this is a really cool one. Specifically, it's 100% geared towards time blocking. You basically enter your task in there. It syncs with your calendar. So it's got your calendar events and your tasks. And for each task, you basically say, what's the priority to the task and how long is it gonna take? And then you hit auto schedule and the app automatically takes your events takes your tasks and how long they're gonna take and weaves them all together and creates a full day schedule based off the tasks that you have. And so it's basically time blocking your schedule and you can even say uh, if you want some buffer in between tasks, give yourself some time to relax. It's a super cool app and for some of you, it may be the perfect app for time blocking. There you have it guys, time blocking has been a game changing development in my productivity routine and I'm excited to see how I can evolve this going forward. I've kind of just been doing it recently and it's really unlocked my productivity levels. I've been getting a lot more done each day because it's just been keeping me accountable. But let me know down in the comments below if you've been time blocking your schedule and what app do you use to do it? Do you use Apple Calendar and things? Or There's lots of options out there. So I'd be curious, what ways do you guys do it? And if you wanna check out another productivity related video, I've got a video linked right here that you can just click on, check out for yourself. Otherwise, if that one doesn't interest you, YouTube's got another suggestion for you right below. Either way, I hope to catch you in the next one. Until next time.